हे गाइस आई एम निशान एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नेटिको सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट नेक्स्ट जेस बट फर्स्ट व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट जेस सो इट्स अ फ्रेमवर्क बेस्ड ऑन रिएक्ट जेएस दैट इज व्हाट नेक्स्ट जेएस इज सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैव राउटिंग इन रिएक्ट वी हैव आई मीन राउटिंग इज नॉट इन रिएक्ट वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल अ पैकेज called react router same way we have authentication that is not inbuilt in react or api calls but in next js we have these items like routing authentication api calls all this inbuilt we don't have to install external packages to do all of these items and functionalities so let's learn the basics here so first let me go to this tab here and first we have to understand what is pre rendering so go to from react to next js and go to this wait how next js works so let me show you okay but first we have to understand what is rendering so it's a unit of work to convert the code that we write in st in react and to convert it into html so whenever we use react and we write code that code is compiled using some compiler like webpack or rollup and it gets converted to html and that is called rendering so it can take place on server or on client so in next js it gets rendered on the server side but in react it is getting rendered it gets rendered on client side so that is what rendering is okay now what is pre rendering server side rendering is called pre rendering in which we render the html on the server side so what does that mean so if you if you see here that in a standard react application the browser receives empty html from server with javascript instruction to construct the ui it is called client side rendering and it happens on the device of the user so what it means so when we load a website that is built in react or a web app so what will happen is the code will be rendered on the device of the user but in next js or ssr server side rendering it is rendered on the server like this so we have the html on server and it's is sent to the client and then it gets rendered okay let me show you i mean yes next js pre renders every page by default pre rendering means html is converted or generated in advance on the server instead of having it all done by javascript on the device of the user okay so in practice this means that fully client side rendered apps the user will see a blank page while rendering work is being done compared to a pre rendered app where the user will see constructed html okay this means that on csr or client side rendering the data or the html is rendered on the user's mobile or website or i mean mobile or device like a laptop or a pc in the browser but in the ssr or pre rendering the user will see the html that has already been constructed on server so that is called ssr or pre rendering that is used in next js okay so now that is the boring stuff i guess okay so now let's see how to create a next app so let me go over to this website called wheat here so click get started here and we will use this tool to generate our next app so all we need to do is go to vs code here and do this command where is it npm create wait at the rate latest don't forget that in react we don't have routing authentication all of the items in built we have to install packages but in next js we have them in in built in next js yes so now let me press enter here 
to create the next app. so let's say next next js tutorial enter so i don't think we have the option to of next js here okay i think we can't use this so let me delete the terminal and see how can we do that create next app okay this is a place that we can create next app from this okay we have to use this command npx create next app at the rate latest next just blah 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 okay what else okay let me try this but do we have option to create next app from this let me search next js app beat so if you are using cra or create react app or maybe next app it uses webpack but this uses rollup which is much faster than webpack so how can we do that okay let me it they are not comparable how can we create next app okay let me try this then let's try this maybe it will be fast okay this is for next wait a second so i am new to this so let me see what we did previously create with latest let me now paste this npx create next app at the rate latest let's enter and let's see what happens okay yes we want to create the next app let's add the name next js tutorial i guess we don't have the option from wheat or maybe okay we don't need type script for now because i personally don't think it is useful so we have to yes no okay enter we don't need yes lint yes do we like to have i mean use the source directory yes no okay wait i think we have to do this okay what import aliases would you like to configure so we can say this and installing dependencies yes it, and and it's installing so that's how we create a next app all we have to do go to the folder that we created here like in code we have next js tutorial with eight items and we have node modules that you know what is it all the dependencies and packages inside the node modules public folder which contains svgs and the icon source folder which has pages api app.js document.js index this is the main file index.js i guess i will we will see so pages contains all the pages and we have styles and in the styles we have the module i mean css modules so that's also a plus point because we don't have to use a framework for css like tailwind or style components which is javascript and css framework for styling now let me start the next step so how to start this let me see okay let's see how to start this uh, uh, uh next j npm run dev yes so if you come over to packages and we will see this dev command that runs this next dev and it starts the tutorial i mean the code so npm run dev the say okay not dev not dev dev okay so started i mean it's starting maybe started let me open this local host 3000 and see what happened we don't need this and this so we will see this page which is very cool i guess now let me come over to this code close the package json then where is the cursor here so in the pages we have index.js let me open this and this will contain all the code for this page wait a sec what happened okay we cannot do this what's happening let me minimize this okay what is this okay i think it's now 
ओके वी क्लोज द क्रोम ब्राउजर लेट मी ओपन द वी एस कोड यस देन लेट मी ओपन क्रोम वेर इज द क्रोम ब्राउजर क्रोम इज हेयर यस नो लेट मी गो टू लोकल होस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड आई एम स्टिल गेटिंग यूज टू माई मैक हेयर लेट मी नाउ गो टू वी एस कोड and then switch this yes now we can switch between them yes so as you see that we have title here which called which is called next i mean create next app so let me remove this title and add next dot js tutorial so it's a, it is basically react and the c it's c the name has been changed to next js tutorial okay now we have the font called enter here i guess and yes see we are importing from font from next font google so i think that's also pre built or in built and we have the style module here from home dot module dot css i mean let me open styles this we have global css for global styling this is the main css file for home page i mean this page yes so title has been changed here and we can also change meta tags like this so we can say this is a next dot js tutorial tutorial save and if you say i mean if you share this link of this app somewhere or anywhere like whatsapp or linkedin or twitter they will see this meta tag as description now in the main that we have here main tag we have styles dot main so the main is this uh class name or property and we are importing the styles from the i mean this location let's say we have the class name of main here we are having display flex justify content center or space between padding 6 rem min height 600 sorry 100 pvh let me remove all of these and save so something will be changed here it will be not as quite perfect it was before but if we revert it back we will see it here i mean on the center so as you see that we have next js 13 here let me search where is it next js 13 i think it's an image so we can remove this image and save okay that was not the image that we are looking for let me remove this a tag then remove this p tag and this empty div so we only have the next js 13 here and then what happened now the documentation i mean this area we have docs i mean we have a grid okay let me remove this so we okay that remove the center item we don't need to remove that we need to remove this this card like we have docs so let me try to remove this entire thing the grid styles and we are left with only this item i mean this image on styles the 13 so where is it styles dot 13 let me search for 13 here 13 here is it it is here so i think we don't need to make this space between let me make this as center as well now it will be in the center and it looks cool the logo is very cool okay now let me type or let me add one h1 tag here let's add it here and this will be i mean in the div let's add h1 and say hello this is a next dot js tutorial save this and we will see this text here at the top so if you add if you want to add styling we can make a class name here in h1 and then 
we can say styles wait a sec styles dot title save let me come over here in the module and add a title and we want font family let's say lato okay where what font did we add here enter not lato so make it as enter and if you see that our font has been changed we can change the color as well so make the color to be red and it will be changed to red so that was all the basics that we wanted i mean i wanted to show you in this video this is just the start of the entire course and you will get all other videos in the playlist that i will create in the future so what did we learn here is next js is a react framework which uses pre rendering or ssr and it means that our html sorry our code that we have to convert to html is getting converted in the server not in the client side that's why it is faster than react that was the main and one more thing there was is uh, in react we have to install a few packages for routing authentication and blah blah but in nextjs we don't have to do that it comes in built in this app so that's a plus point okay then